Hello guys and welcome back. We're about to play that third game with Mr. Vile and you have to eat what is ever at the top of the screen. So right now we have to eat red ones. Um, it will change to yellow. Like that. Um, this is the hardest game and I have to say the AI is well programmed. Mr. Vile will never eat the wrong color. But we will and I probably will during this very recording but we have to hope not because it severely delays your eating ability as you have to stop and kind of like dry heave but we are barely beating Mr. Vile hopefully our luck will stay good and I can't tell who got that one we definitely got that one though oh man there needs to be big like patches of them to time, otherwise Mr. Vile tends to eat too fast. Although we did win. That's right, we won all three games and now Mr. Vile will give us his jiggy. I don't know why he has one. Um He says we have a tougher challenge. Um We can win three lives. I am not going to do that because it wastes a lot of time and it's just a useless mini game. I have plenty of lives. And then he mocks us because we didn't play his game. Anyway, now that we have the final jiggy that we can get within Bubble Goop Swamp at this time, we will have to leave soon although there's one more thing you can do as the crocodile if you remember the shock jump po uh, jump platform things over here we have some things to get underneath of them that normally we couldn't get with banjo is wa with waiting boots there are some notes the last jinjo where we get number 10 oh I'm sorry that's not a jiggy we do get all 10 jiggies. I forgot. I thought Mr. Vials of the game also gave a jiggy, but apparently it doesn't. Um, you can't play Mr. Vials of the game until you come back with a better move. Uh, because you need to be able to use the running shoes, because he'll be really fast. And we do not have that. We now have all of the notes, all of the jiggies, seven lives, some amount of eggs and feathers, and we are going to move on to freeze easy peak although there is one thing we have to do with the crocodile first and we need him outside of the level much like we needed the termite outside of mumbo's mountain but he is rather slow so this video might be rather boring um yeah a lot, right now it's just a lot of walking uh but you remember that ice block that I smashed in video 7.5. Um, yeah, we needed to smash that so we could go back there as this little crocodile. Because, as you guys will see, oh, probably in 30 seconds, there is a nice little surprise back there for us. Um... Yeah, normally right now we'd have to come unlock this too, but I took care of that ahead of time. There's one invincibility feather right here. And if we can finally walk all the way through here. Yeah, see Banjo's too big to get through here. We will meet this guy. And this guy is Cheeto the Spellbook. He has magic cheats. And then Grunty starts talking to him through like telekinesis. She tells him not to give away her spells. <laughs> he says she lost him, so we get the spells now. And he gives us one spell here. And if we enter the code blue eggs in that sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove, I believe it doubles the amount of eggs we have or it gives us um, an unlimited amount I forgot but we're not gonna use it I don't need it 
frankly, I'm not going to use any of the cheats that Cheetah will give us. They're mainly for items like uh, feathers and eggs. But there are kind of Easter egg cheats that I will be using at the end of the game. But we are now done with Bubble Goop Swamp. We are now done with that little um, side quest, I guess you could call it. And we are going to head towards Freeze Easy Peak. And we will try to actually do something in it. But I don't know if we will get there in time. I know it's only halfway through the video, but it is quite far away. Um, I'm just going to let the spell expire again. Now, the crocodile does have an attack, but it will never work against those mosquitoes. I have never had it successfully work against them. So, don't try it. And now the winch, witch starts taunting us. She'll do that occasionally. If you walk around in the lay long enough, she will start giving out taunts. And here, Mumbo's magic wears off, and we can now move much faster and get many more things done. And that bad guy finally sees us. Um, interesting thing about those bad guys, the red ones take one hit to die. The um, blue ones take two, and the black one, there's only one, will take three. And we're going to talk to Brentilda here f right now. And she says she sleeps in a pigsty. That's not all that exciting. Uh, she's only ever won the sweatiest socks competition. That sounds disgusting. And the last fact is she often boasts of appearing on Fat Hag Monthly. Alright. And Brentilda will also heal, uh, heal us to full health like Goggles will if we go talk to her. Um... FreezyZ Peak is going to be up this way. I believe we actually have to go through an, another area first. There is a note door up here for 260 notes, but we only have, or we already have 400. So we can go right on through. Uh, up here is another level, but we are not able to do much with it yet, except I think we might be able to get the Jiggy from the Witch Switch in um, Bubba Goop Swamp. We have to come down here and hit that switch, which will allow that moving shock jump pad to come uh, and show up. And quickly before I use it, we're going to go to the other wall and knock that down. Because behind this one, there are waiting boots. Yes, waiting boots. So there is another use for them. But not right now. Okay. Uh, now, if you can use the shock jump pad correctly and get up in here, you will fall through the top of the witch's head because you blew the head off and get that jiggy. So we now have five jiggies in the lair. And we are going to head back to Free CC Peak, but I doubt we will actually get to start it. Yeah, lots of lots of in to do or in between to do um, this time around. So yeah, I don't know why Free CC Peak is the next level, but this area comes first. I don't know that question. Do not ask me it. Up here. There's another note door through there. There's this thing, which you see is not affected by Beak Bust. So we'll have to figure something else out to um, destroy it. And through here is going to be Freeze Easy Peak. But we don't really have enough time to do much of anything with it at all. So I am just going to leave the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time. We will start for Peak.